Hello, welcome to my neighborhood. Paul the trombonist here. Now I'm going to do a little thing I like to call Questions with Paul the trombonist. Now the last one that we did was about a year and a half ago. I felt like this was a good opportunity to do it because while I'm working on this bigger kind of production that I'm releasing next week, so be sure to come back next week and check it out. I felt that it would be good to talk a little bit about some questions that you've been asking me. Alright, let's get to them. I, I wrote them down. So these are questions that you submitted uh, on comments on videos or you sent them to my Facebook fan page in the message box or uh, my email. You, I got some from there. So let's, uh, let's listen to our first question. Who are your favorite trombonists, Paul? A living and ones from the past. What's well, a great question? That comes from Greg in Idaho. Greg four five seven is his street name. Well, I just love JJ Johnson. I just love his sound. I love his uh, everything about him. His articulations and his melodic ideas. It's beautiful, you know. Now there are a lot of trombonists out there that are amazing. I'm inspired by all of them, and you can learn so much from just listening to every one of them. It's just amazing how everyone has their own voice. But I have to say. As far as the um, living trombonists, the ones that resonate with me are Andy Hunter, John Allred, and Jigs Wiggum, in no particular order. Now the reason those three trombonists really resonate with me is their melodic concept. It's so melodic, and the way I think of melodic music is when you only hear their solo like once, or twice, you have most of it memorized. That's when I know it's someone that's really melodic, is it doesn't take too many listens on their solo to know the solo in your brain. Okay, that's a good question. All right, here's the next question. Who's your all-time favorite musician? This is from Alyssa, this is by a email. My favorite all-time musician is Clifford Brown. He's the most inspiring to me, just everything about him, what he does, how clean he is, his, his, uh, how melodic he is, everything about Clifford Brown I just really admire. Amazing, amazing musician. This one comes from... Uh, Alright, well, if they want to be uh, revealed to the public, this one comes from... Oh, man. Alright. Okay, dear Paul, if you could change into any item where something can grow out of your body, what would you like it to be? Well, it's interesting you bring this up because right now I'm writing a song about uh, fruit coming out of my body. Why do you make YouTube videos? I love them, but just curious how you got started and why you do it. Well, that's a good question too. I started putting YouTube videos up like back from the beginning, like oh, on like 05 or 06. And that was under a, a, my channel, Jazz TRBN77. And I posted all kinds of trombone videos or just different videos, whatever, you know. And then I have some other channels and in about 2009, I'm, I started a channel with my good friend Leonard Patton, who's a vocalist called Leonard and Paul. And we started putting videos up, and it, it was really fun, and we still work on things together. Then I put Paul the Trombonist in about 2010, I started putting up videos, and then I started to keep making videos because I just had so much fun. The reason I make the videos is, first of all, I have a great time doing it. And it allows me to do a lot of different things I enjoy doing and do one thing. Create content and appeal to a bigger audience, a more of a mass audience. Expose them to the instrument of the trombone. That's from uh, John Zobo email. Appreciate everybody watching. You guys are great. It's an amazing audience of feedback. I just love you guys. If you want to submit questions, you can submit it as a comment down below here. You can submit them on my Facebook. You can submit them on my... Uh... Oh yeah, that's enough. That's a good way.
Twitter's cool, whatever. That's Jazz Trombone, this is my Twitter handle. The video after this one is going to be really fun. So please come back next Thursday. Also wanted to let you know, my album's doing really well on iTunes. The link will also be down below. Please check out that one. Thank you so much, and uh, you guys are great. And I remember. You can do the piano, but you cannot do it on... You tell me. Hello, you have been watching the adventures of Paul the Trumpetist. We thank you gratefully. Thank you so much. I say thank you three times. I have other videos on the channel, so be sure to watch them. I fancy I'll make some more.